Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Taskmaster. He made his first appearance in Avengers, issue number 195, that was released in May of 1980. His real name is Tony Masters, and he's the well-known mercenary that stands six feet two inches tall, weighs 220 pounds, and has brown eyes and brown hair. Now, Tony was born with the ability to copy other people's movements, no matter how complex they were. But after being enhanced with an experimental German version of the Super Soldier Serum, he developed the ability to perfectly mimic any person's abilities after only seeing it once. He would instantly duplicate anything done around him. With absolutely no practice, he's taken on the combat skills of the very best fighters, being able to mirror every single mannerism that they exhibit. And this has even gotten to the point that he can predict what his opponents will do. Talk about a perfect chess player. And his photographic reflexes, as it's called, can even duplicate subtle things, such as complex gymnastics routines, pieces of music, and even the exact tone and intonation of others' voices. This could literally be him right now telling you his own story and you wouldn't realize it wasn't New Sage. Now his photographic reflexes also lends itself to other abilities. It gives him a limited superhuman speed and agility. An example, being able to move twice as fast as a normal human after watching martial arts movies in double speed and his maxed out agility being comparable to that of Daredevil and even Spider-Man, at times being able to even deflect and catch bullets. Now this being said, all of these reflexive superhuman abilities can only be done for a short period of time, and he cannot copy any feat of superhuman strength. Taskmaster has completely and perfectly mastered every single form of martial arts known, even including some alien techniques. He's a master tactician and strategist, at times even being a match for the entire Avengers team. And he's even learned advanced meditation techniques that allow him to slow his breathing and heart rate to appear to be dead, which in turn also allows him to go long periods without air. The only problem is that his photographic reflexes come at a cost. His mind can only retain a limited number of abilities. And so whenever he makes it a point to learn a new task, his old memories get pushed out, keeping him in a constant state of amnesia that can even get so bad that he forgets who he is and what he's doing at any given time. But all in all, it could easily be argued that Taskmaster is the best human fighter in the Marvel Universe. Now, after being born in the Bronx, New York, Tony Masters would quickly learn that he had photographic reflexes using his ability to learn childish little things, such as diving off a diving board, professional basketball techniques, and even twirling a cowboy lasso, all from watching television. And as an adult, Tony would take his skills with him to the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization and become one of their field agents. But during one fateful mission, Tony would find an old scientist who was slowly dying after an attack. Before he passed away, the scientist would give Tony a syringe that had an experimental German version of the super soldier serum. And after using this on himself, Tony's abilities would be greatly enhanced. But as I stated earlier, this would come at the cost of his personal memories. He would quickly forget his status at S.H.I.E.L.D. as well as his partner slash wife, Mercedes Masters. Yet her love for him would lead her to try to keep control over him and guide him as he took on his new persona of Taskmaster. She would also gather intel on the villainous underworld that Taskmaster was involved in and feed it back to S.H.I.E.L.D. Taskmaster would eventually start a series of schools named Taskmaster's Academy, where he would train anyone, including criminals, that had the money to pay. Matter of fact, one of his first clients named Don of the Dead, who was a crime lord and governor in Western Mexico, actually inspired Taskmaster's skull-shaped mask, which was worn as an homage to the Santa Muerte, or the image of death. His teaching ability can't be understated, because not only did he train many people for various villainous teams, such as AIM and HYDRA, he also trained some who would become heroic figures, such as John Walker, who would become the U.S. agent, as well as multiple other recruits for S.H.I.E.L.D.'s 50-state initiative. But just don't get things twisted. Taskmaster is the consummate mercenary. At any given time, he could be fighting alongside Deadpool, and before you know it, be fighting against Thor. 
Whether he's joining S.H.I.E.L.D.'s secret Avengers team or pledging his allegiance to HYDRA, Taskmaster will go wherever he pleases and wherever serves him best. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Taskmaster a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.